today we're going to talk about different types of rocks. There are molten liquid rocks under the surface of the earth. Magma is melted rock that is under the ground. It's at extremely high temperatures and is stored in magma chambers. Sometimes magma finds its way out to the surface through the chimney of a volcano. When it happens, it becomes into lava. Lava is the magma at the surface of the earth. It cools down and becomes into a rock. Sometimes magma can't find its way out and gets stored in a smaller magma chamber. It will end up cooling down and becoming into rocks when it settles. These rocks are what we call igneous rocks. Some examples of them are granite and basalt. There are also other types of rocks. The surface of the earth, the rocks and other materials are eroded by the air, water or other causes. The sediments are small particles that come from uh, this process of erosion and sometimes they end up in the water and begin to settle. With time, along the years, layers of sediments that have settled under the water bodies uh, pile up and press down the lower layers. This is what we call compactation. The more weight they have to bear, the more compact they become. More layers or stretches, more layers, um, more compactation dries up the lower layers. The water uh, is forced out of the lower layers. Um, as many more layers are constantly formed, uh, they are bearing more pressure and more weight, so they get more compacted. They go through a process of cementation and uh, the rock mass form is what we call sedimentary, just like clay. But there are more types of rocks. Sedimentary rocks are bearing the weight of the upper layers above them, but more layers are constantly formed, so they're bearing more and more weight, more and more pressure. As more layers are formed above them, they go down, bearing the pressure of the upper layers and the high temperatures due to the proximity to the core of the earth, these materials change chemically and become into something different. This is what we call metamorphic rocks, like granite or basalt. Remember, igneous rocks can be intrusive or extrusive, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks.